Do you know the three types of rootstocks for fruit trees? Josh here. I've been growing fruit trees for 10 years and I've learned a thing or two. And one of the things that you want to decide whenever you're picking out your first fruit tree is what type of rootstock it's growing on. Now, rootstock is going to determine four different things about fruit trees. And that is the eventual size of the tree, the overall vigor of the tree, how quickly you're going to get fruit on the tree, and lastly, the disease resistance of the tree itself. So you want to do your research to figure out, all right, how big do I want my tree in my space? Um, how quickly do I want fruit on my tree? And what are the types of diseases in my area that I'm going to struggle with to make sure that I get a rootstock that works well for where I live? So you want to look into all four of those things to decide. All right, so let's break it down a little bit deeper here. So we've got standard rootstock. Standard rootstock can get to be quite a large tree, 18 to 25 feet in some instances. And a lot of the times standard rootstock is equivalent to an actual seedling itself, but it's, it's still grafted. So it's got some additional disease resistance, things like that. Um, second up, we've got semi-dwarf, right? Semi-dwarf is not quite dwarf. Semi-dwarf is sort of in between standard and dwarf. So semi-dwarf produces a tree that can be, I don't know, 15 to 20 feet in height, which is still quite large for a lot of trees. So semi-dwarf is probably the most common type of rootstock. Uh, M111 is a good example of that. So I planted a lot of semi-dwarf rootstock when I got started with my home orchard, and they've all been pretty vigorous and gotten to be pretty big, so I have to head them down. Um, and then lastly is the dwarf rootstock. So dwarf rootstock, like bud nine is an example of one, can produce a tree that can be that eight to 10 foot in height, which is really great because a lot of times that's the height that you wanna keep your tree at anyways. But you have to keep in mind that each rootstock is different and not only does it determine the height of the tree, the vigor of the tree, when you get fruit, but also that disease resistance. So you wanna look for rootstocks that are working well in your area in terms of the types of issues that your soil struggles with. And that rootstock, some of those rootstock can produce a tree that fights against it. So um, you might look at different types of diseases through your extension office, or maybe talk to your local nursery. All those are really good resources to figure out which diseases are gonna struggle in your area. All right, so besides size, we've also got vigor. And what vigor is, is how quickly it's gonna put out new growth, what the distance is between the buds on the stem. A lot of time that's decided by the vigor of the tree. How vigorous does it grow, right? How quickly does the root spread? And the standard and semi-dwarf are a lot more vigorous than the dwarf trees, which grow a lot slower. If you think about it in terms of speed of growth. All right, and the third up on our list is fruiting age. So fruiting age is also determined by rootstock. So for example, a standard tree can take up to seven to 10 years in some instances to fruit, which is a long time. But in the end, you're gonna have a tree that is much bigger, produces a lot more fruit, and eventually we actually live longer. So that's sort of the fifth part of this equation for rootstock, and that is the life of the tree. Dwarf rootstocks, they don't live as long as standard rootstocks. Standard rootstocks can live much longer than dwarf rootstocks. So also something to consider if you're in a place where you're gonna be for a long time, you might wanna look at that semi-dwarf or standard tree just for the age of the tree itself, unless you're willing to replant. All right, and so for, when it comes to fruiting age, you've got seven to 10 years for standard, you've got semi-dwarf, which can be um, in that four to five year range, maybe sometimes six. So that's sort of that in between. And that's what I shot for, for a lot of my apple and pear trees. Um, and then lastly is dwarf. So dwarf fruit stock, you can actually get fruit in two, three, maybe four years on those trees. So that's really great because you can get fruit quickly, but again, everything's a trade-off. So it, you're not gonna get as much fruit as you would a standard over the life of the tree. But for backyard home orchards, I'd personally recommend semi-dwarf or dwarfing rootstock. Standard can just get really big and can take a lot more pruning to deal with. So that's the lesson for today. I hope you all found some value in this. That's all about rootstocks and I'll see you in the next video.